Hey what's up guys welcome to my new video and in this video uh, we are going to see fourth assignment of uh, computer engineering final year in Savitribai Phule University and uh, here is the problem statement for it. So you have to design an application for dining philosophers problem and it should be in either of these languages and we need to use client server arch architecture for it and also we need to store the data in MongoDB database. So first of all, let us see what uh, dining philosophers problem is. So we have five philosophers who think uh, for a while and after thinking for some time, they eat. All right. So the problem here is they, uh, we, we have only five folks and we have five philosophers. So each philosopher want two, two folks to eat. All right. So these, the spaghetti, which is there in front of them, they need to eat it using two folks and the problem here is if uh, each philosopher if there is no synchronization then there might be a condition where neither of them will be able to eat so suppose each philosopher has one fork so there will be a deadlock where each philosopher is waiting for a second fork and neither of them is getting the second one so we need to introduce some synchronization in this so to do this we are using a uh, reentrant locks in our program where each philosopher will eat only if he gets two forks right if he gets or else he will not have any fork so as simple as that if he has two forks then eat yeah. or else don't eat or, or don't acquire any fork all right so let us look at the code the code is written in java and we have uh, we have used mongo mongodb for it so first of all, I will show you how to start MongoDB server. So there is a link in the description box below, which uh, shows how to install MongoDB in Fedora. So if you, you haven't installed it, please go and watch that video. So we have to be super user for it. Then go to the directory where you have kept MongoDB. We have to go to bin and then you have to type this command or you have to run this dot slash mongo d hyphen hyphen db path and we have to give the path of the folder where you have to start your, your file is there so we have started the server and it is listening at this port 27017 all right so we are we have started the server now what we have to do is we have to add a jar file because these uh, these these classes are defined in that jar file for the connection so we have to go to the program uh, to the project right click on this go to properties and then in this java build path you have to add this jar uh, this jar all right mongodb jar so to add this you have to go to this add external jar and you have to select that jar file all right, so I've already added that jar file. The link is all again given in the description box below to download this jar. All right, so now let us look at the code. So we have five reentrant locks for five forks, and we will see how we are using those locks. Then we are doing connection with the uh, MongoDB. Here we have created the class uh, object for this class, Mongo client. All right, and uh, this is hosted on the local host. That's why we have given local host. Then we are getting the database. My DB is the database name, and DB is the class. So we have created the object for this class, and we are getting the collection. Uh, the collection. All right, where we have where we are going to store values. My call is the collection name. Okay, so this this is it for the connect connection with the MongoDB. Rest thing is just to enter uh, into the database. Then we are uh, uh, we are initializing these. Uh, we are creating the object for this folks. Zero, one, two, three, four. All right. And then we are cre creating five threads. All right. So five threads, and each thread is uh, going to create one object for this philosopher class. And the parameters for this class is the the lock two locks right 
and the name of the philosopher okay then we are, we are starting the uh, the threads so first thread will create this uh, this object for this philosopher class where we have this local uh, logs reentrant logs the parameters which we have passed in this objects will object will be will invoke the constructor of that class so constructor for this class is this philosopher all right so it will fill this log with log 0 uh, log 4 log 0 whichever you have passed in the object right and string name then we are assigning that value to our local uh, local member variables or member members of the class all right and then this as soon as we uh, start this thread this run method will be invoked right when you pass the uh, when you create the object your constructor starts and when you start the thread this void run method is invoked all right so then it is calling the function called think now let us go to this think function and think function what it does is it creates connection to the mongodb and again it is uh, getting the collection object and it, it is creating this basic db object and it has parameters as name and thinking so name is what we have passed to the constructor initially so philosopher 1 philosopher 2 3 4 and so on and it inserts that into our database all right so this much it is doing just entering the status of the philosopher that he is thinking all right and then it is also sleeping for uh, thousand milliseconds yeah then after that it calls eat and it passes left fork right fork these two logs to that that function and name as well and as soon as it invokes this it logs left fork and right fork now there might be a condition where uh, that there is a lock already present on that uh, on that uh, object like if some other thread is having the lock on this lock all right it has locked this uh, object then what it will do it will wait until that lock is released all right so until and unless that lock is not free it will wait here all right then as soon as it gets both these lock it will go forward and again it creates object for uh, for writing into the database mongo client uh, db object and db collection and then it updates the status again eating inside the database again it sleeps for 1000 milliseconds one thing to note here is all this thing thing is going to happen in multi threaded environment all right so there are five threads which are competing for the lock all right the lock is only present at the eat in the eating function thinking doesn't have any lock then finally what it does is it prints done eating and now it, it is again thinking all right and then it updates the status again done eating and insert that into the database and releases both these logs this is very important because if you don't release the log the other threads which are waiting for the log will wait forever all right okay then it will return to this position all the threads will return to this position and end so that is it in this program so let us now run this as you can see object is created thinking thinking then we have started eating done thinking now again thinking philosopher 2 is eating and that's it now let us go to the database and see if it has entered the values right so again type dot slash mongo use my db right show collections sorry yeah my call is there db dot my call fine all right so you can see the values here philosophy five six 
right these are the values so this is it thanks for watching guys and if you got something from this video do click on the like button share this video and do subscribe to my channel and that's it thank you